Well, there's several different rays. There's obviously visible light and there's infrared light, which makes it warm. But the two that we worry about with the sun, with the skin, are UVA and UVB. UVB is what gives you your intense sunburn. It's what makes you pink right away. It contributes to skin cancer and it contributes to that blistering kind of redness that people get. But there's also UVA, which is actually a longer wavelength. Um, and it penetrates deeper into the skin. It also contributes to skin cancer, but can contribute to photoaging like wrinkles and blotchy brown marks and that type of thing. Just because you don't burn doesn't mean that you're not doing damage and there's no such thing as a safe tan. There's three different types of, of common skin cancer. The three common types are basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Melanoma is the deadliest skin cancer and that can go internally and move around and can actually kill people. Basal cells and squamous cells are very common. Um, they estimate actually that 50% of the light-skinned individuals will end up having a, a basal cell or a squamous cell during their lifetime. And that's huge. There's over 4 million cases last year of basal cell and squamous cell. So these skin cancers are very, very common. Basal cells are a little more common than squamous cells. They're the type of skin cancer that usually doesn't go internally move around but um, stays on the skin, but they can be disfiguring. Uh, interestingly enough, as construction workers or um, they're out in the sun extensively, they do have a lot of precancerous areas, they do have a lot of basal cells and squamous cells, and they do need to protect themselves from the, the sun. If you're working outside, you need to protect your skin, and um, the best defense is actually covering up. Also, uh, wearing hats, trying to seek shade as much as possible, but if they can't because they're working out in the sun, then they need to um, apply sunscreen. And they need to have a good sunscreen, SPF 30 or above, and reapply it every two hours. And with good UVA and UVB protection, broad spectrum sunblock, and something that you like and you like to reapply, because if it's something that you hate, you're not gonna, re you're not gonna use it. Um, so I really encourage people to find something that they like. And just because um, a sunblock is expensive doesn't make it any much better. Actually, Target and Walmart's um, e Equate for Banana Boat or whatever is just as good as the expensive um, brand name. But you need to make sure that you like it and you'll reapply it. Depending on their, you know, how much sun that they're getting exposed to, if they're wearing shorts or wearing you know, short sleeves, they may have to use a full shot glass full of sunblock in order to get appropriate uh, protection. And on your face you want about two teaspoons every two hours and reapplying is really necessary. And for men working outside, if they have to wear hard hats that are um, not big wide brimmed hats, they need to make sure that they get the crevices in their ears because a lot of times people will develop skin cancers even within the little areas of the ears and it's very common. Reapplication uh, has to be done every couple hours in order to get that maximum protection. People should be using it af right after they brush their teeth in the morning, they should be applying their sunblock if they're working outside. And then they should be carrying um, some sunblock in their car. If you have it available and you make it easy, then, then you'll do it. It's not too late. If, and your early years, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, it's not too late. People are living a long life, so you don't want to be 90-some years old and having lots of skin cancers.